All right, question of the week in Blex Review number 32. Our question is, which movement at the elbow would cause the biceps brachii to shorten? Is it gonna be A, extension, B, supination, C, pronation, or D, internal rotation? One more time. Which movement at the elbow would cause the biceps brachii to shorten? Is it going to be extension, supination, pronation, or internal rotation? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you which movement at the elbow would cause the biceps brachii to shorten. And we had a great turnout here. We had 46 votes. 61% of you said it was going to be extension. 13% of you said it was going to be supination. 4% of you said it was going to be pronation. And then 22% of you said it was going to be internal rotation. And then thank you to the eight people who liked this post. So a majority of you said it was going to be extension. Now let's see if this is the correct answer. Now before we do, let's look at this question one more time and make sure we get the keywords here. Which movement at the elbow, that's a keyword, would cause the biceps brachii. That is another keyword there to shorten. This is the biggest keyword. We are looking for the movement that is going to shorten the biceps brachii at the elbow. So let's take a look at extension. So here we have flexion at the elbow, and then here we have extension at the elbow. So this arm is being flexed, and then this arm is being extended. And so notice that my biceps brachii are shortened in flexion at the elbow, and then during extension at the elbow, my biceps brachii are lengthened when the arm is extended. Now let's take a look at this movement. Here I am extending at the elbow, and you can tell that my biceps brachii is elongated or lengthened. Now let's take a look at flexion. Now you can see that my biceps brachii is shortened. So extension is not the correct answer here. Flexion would be, and flexion is not one of the answer choices. We are only left with supination and pronation and internal rotation. So let's have a look at supination and pronation. So here I am pronating my arm. Now let's take a look at supination. Could you tell any difference at the biceps brachii? Let's look one more time. Here's pronation. Make sure you're looking at my biceps brachii, and here is supination. Well, let's have a closer look at it so we can see what is the correct answer here. Let's look at pronation. Do you notice anything different at the biceps brachii? Look at supination. Notice how my biceps brachii are in a shortened position. Look at pronation, watch. Notice how they lengthened. Okay, let's take a look at supination. Now they are shortened. So the correct answer here is supination. This movement is going to shorten the biceps brachii. And then pronation is not, it's going to lengthen the biceps brachii. And then internal rotation is somewhat the same as pronation. So we're internally rotating when we pronate at the forearm. So that is also not the correct answer. Supination is the correct answer here. And so 13% of you got this answer correct. If you did not get this answer correct, I would encourage you to check out my Patreon page Page where I dive much deeper into the material that you are likely to see on the Mblex. Because remember guys, the Mblex is going to cover 11 to 12% of kinesiology. That means there's going to be 11 out of 12 questions that may contain material like this. So you really need to make sure that you have an understanding of this material. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.